Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunn again. This is Handmade in Vermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge anemone, like a sea anemone, circular pendant. This is the 139772. So awesome fixture. I think this ticks so many boxes of things I like about Hubberton Forge when they come up with these incredible designs and, and just are masters of, of the bending light and uh, what can I say? Anyway, let's get into lots of details on this. One way you can see a lot of information about this is to look at the installations instructions and you're going to be able to follow along with me on a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about. So if you're on the page for this on handmadeinvermont.com, look over on the right hand side of the screen, go down a little under those pull down menus, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. So open that up for me. These are the papers that are going to be in the box when you get this. It's the full installations instructions, but they show you a lot of great things that you want to know. They show you information about the canopy that goes on the ceiling, the cables that come down, how the whole thing goes together, and, um, and basically these great line drawings that, that you can see things you can't see by just looking at a photograph of this thing. So take advantage of that and you can use that as we go along and talk about this fixture. Okay? So when we talk about the overall height of the fixture, we're really talking about the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. And this is going to be an adjustable during your installation. You can't bring it up and down all the time. But an adjustable range as short as 18 inches. So if you have, or you want to use this as a semi-flush in a room that has like 10-foot ceilings, 9-foot ceilings, it's kind of pushing it. But as short as 18 or as long as 85 inches from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. And that's going to be our standard, what's called standard product. If you need longer than 85 inches, just contact me because we do customs all the time to make these things longer or shorter. I don't know if I can go shorter than 18, but I know I can go longer than 85. Just, just uh, drop me a quick email. The fixture body itself, that's going to be the, the whole fixture on the bottom of it, independent of the cables that are supporting it. And we know that's 3.9 inches, you could call it 4, 36.9 inches in diameter, you can call it 37, and it's a good size. It's, it's, it's a good size for a big foyer. It's a good size for an atrium. It's a good size for a stairway. It's a great size for a big dining room table. Canopy up on the ceiling, you're going to notice if you're looking at those installations instructions, and you can also see it next to me in the photograph, is uh, 8.5 inches in diameter. That's going to hang from a normal junction box. This is coming in weight-wise at 27 pounds. Anything over 25 pounds we have to recommend it's, it's hanging from a fan box or some kind of structure independent of an electrical outlet box just kind of hanging in the ceiling. So talk to your installer that this is going to be 27 pounds just so you guys both know what's going on. Slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees just means that your cables are going to bend a little bit interesting but you can use it that way too. It's using 50 watts of LED, and, and how this really works is you have the LEDs are on the circular part of this, on the inside of that, facing out. So there's no light facing in. It's all facing out. You have 50 watts combined all the way around. That's about the equivalent of, let's say, a 150-watt light bulb, more or less, delivering 1,500 lumens going out. So you have the LED strips on the inside. That's going into clear acrylic that's kind of coming out that's been cut and has all those little pieces that you see that are the um, well little sea anemone kind of things that, that are going to shoot light out. They actually are kind of, uh, are, they're working like fiber optics which is really cool if you're familiar with fiber optics you know clear uh, clear nylon or clear plastic wires that, that move light that's kind of the idea with this piece. It's really cool. So that's, uh, that's the most important thing on that information. Let's get into finishes on this because uh, you'll notice this is part of Hubberton Forge's uh, Vermont Modern Collection, which has its own unique finishes, and we'll go over those right now. So, I um, mean, we're talking about it's going to be the, the body of the fixture, the canopy itself. The cables are always going to be kind of a silver color. So you've got black, you have gold, you have silver, you have satin red, satin aqua, and satin white. Those are the regular finishes for this. If you want this to be the other Hubberton Forge finishes, like burnished steel, like um, dark smoke, uh, mahogany, all those things, vintage platinum, I can do that as a custom. So just contact me about that. It's not a big deal. Adds a little time and money. Um, just something you should know. Not a lot of money, actually, and not a lot of time either. But yeah, I would expect there's going to be a lot of you that may be using this with other Hubberton Forge fixtures, and you're going to want to use it, a finish that kind of goes across the whole thing, what you're doing. Okay? 
So uh, moving on from there, let's talk about, this is going to ship on a truck. It's going to ship on a pallet because it's just so big and the box needs to protect it. So be aware of that if you guys are on the top of a mountain someplace. It happens once in a while. And let's get into a few more things on that. Uh, you'll notice on our website we have 90-day um, returns and no restocking fees on most items except very large things generally on pallets. This is going to be one of the items that's non-returnable, so keep that in mind. You'll want to do a lot of due diligence and contact me about this fixture. That's just what you want to do. So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page on our website. Uh, you'll see that over on, I think, this side for you guys. Uh, it shows everything we have on the floor uh, and ex exactly what it's in finish-wise, glass-wise, shade-wise, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Hubbardton Forge uses this as their showroom. This is the biggest one in the world. Like I said, there's over 400 things here. We also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. You can um, bring a good size car or SUV or a truck when you visit us because if you bring a little tiny car it's going to be hard to get into these big boxes in because these things were packed for shipping. You always have to remember that. Showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I think we talked about most of the important things on this. Um, I want to circle back to the canopy for just a second. So uh, kind of showing you how you put this, how you adjust it up and down during your installation. You'll notice there are these little things called, um, they're called grippers, where the canopy, where the, um, sorry, the cables are going into the canopy. And there's a little strain relief on there. And what happens is you kind of push that in with your, your thumbnail and it loosens so it allows the, ca the cables to go inside. Once you have this exactly where you want it to be, and we're talking level, because you make sure it's level, it's the length you want it to be, you're going to be snipping those cables. and Two of the cables are going to be support cables. Two of the cables are going to be running uh, what's called a low voltage uh, LED, and we should probably touch on that too. So, and the reason why you do a low voltage for LED is in case any time, if, if someone were to ever pull this down because it's on cables, they would, safety wise, it would be very um, safe because it's low voltage. It wouldn't hurt them in, in any way. So you've got a positive and a negative cable, and then you have two support cables coming down. The reason the canopy is a little on the thicker side is because it has to hold a transformer because you have uh, regular line voltage in your ceiling and that has to be transformed down to low voltage which is really important so that's what that's all about there you go so you guys have any other questions let me know this is a great fixture I absolutely love it you should really zero in on the, the close-up photographs that I have on this I had a customer send uh, send me some photographs after, after they installed it just because they were so thrilled with it and they wanted to show it, show it to me. So that means I can show it to you. Okay? Any questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.